Are you feeling bored with coding? Then try the steps. If you have started your coding journey and you are feeling coding is boring, you are not able to get the result and you are not able to rediscover or you are not able to get the joy from coding. Then you can watch this entire lecture to understand how to make coding as fun. So first step, always work on passion projects. So for this, you have to choose what excites you. You have to focus on the projects that genuinely interest you, whether it is a game or personal website or any automation tool. So you have to focus on passion project and you should understand why do you want to create that project. Then what you have to do? You have to experiment with new ideas. You have to step out of the comfort zone by trying new technologies or building something completely different from your usual work. If you keep on working on same thing and if you are not trying to explore different things, if you are not able to generate different ideas, then definitely you will be bored by coding because you do not have anything new to try out. So always try to focus on the projects which excites you and always try to come out of your comfort zone and start generating different ideas and learn new technologies. The next point, gamify your learning. If you learn some concept and if you are okay with that programming language, then participate in coding challenges. You will be having multiple platforms like Lead Code, Code Wars, Hacker Rank. In that, you can practice and you can make coding more fun. Then after that, level up your skills, set small goals and reward yourself whenever you achieve something. Even if you have achieved small thing, congratulate yourself, tap on your back and tell yourself, yes, you have done it. And later on, you can level up, you can level up the skill and you can learn different things and be in the game. Then collaborate with others. So whenever you try coding with friend or colleague, Pair programming can make problem solving more enjoyable and less isolating because each one will be having different ideas. You can take what ideas will be working accordingly you can implement in the project. And always try to contribute to open source project. When you start contributing to open source project, you will be having lot of things to learn. You will be getting lot of things to explore. You will get opportunity to explore different things and learn new things. And if you contribute something to open source project, it simply means that you are contributing in IT field. So whatever you are learning, if you are feeling something is fishy and if you are feeling something can be improved, always be open to contribute that so that it will be helping others. Then explore creative coding. So always work on the projects that will be producing visual results. So always try to design website. You can build mobile apps. You can build smartwatch apps. You can build games. Always try to challenge yourself because when you see your code come into life in creative ways, you will be very happy and also it will be very satisfying. So always try to build small interactive demos or simulations. And also try to get immediate feedback from your friends or colleagues. So always try to explore creative coding. Do not forget to break the routine because if you are in comfort zone, you will not be able to learn new things. If you have selected JavaScript as your first programming language, then do not stop only with JavaScript. Try to explore different frameworks and libraries of JavaScript, offer new challenges, Explore new challenges and try to solve the solution using different perspectives. Or to make coding even more better, you can change your code editors, you can upgrade, you can apply different themes and based on that colorful themes, you can start writing the code so that you feel you are doing something colorful and later on it will be coming into life. Making something live and working is always rewarding and is always pleasure to watch it. After breaking the routine, you have to set challenge for yourself. And how you can set the challenges? By solving complex tasks, 
by building complex applications or by completing the task based on specific time limit and when you set the challenges and when you have built complex applications after that try to write least amount of code so in what ways our code can be reduced refactor the code try different principle adapt to that principles and write less amount of code which will be generating the same result do not forget to reflect on your why you should always remember whenever you are getting stuck or if you are feeling scared and if you do not want to continue then reflect on your why you should always think when you started your journey why you actually chose coding as your career field why you actually chose coding so you have to reconnect with your motivation and you should always tell yourself you can do anything so remind yourself why you started coding in the first place reflecting on your goals and the impact of your work can renew your purpose so always reflect on your why and understand and answer to yourself why you have started coding then visualize success so whatever you have planned always visualize success that you have achieved your goal even if you have not achieved always give your 101% to achieve the goal so always visualize the success and picture the end results of your efforts whether it is mastering a new skill completing a project or landing a dream job you should always visualize that if you keep on visualizing and if you keep on working on that project or if you keep on working on that dream one day you will be able to achieve that but only if you are visualizing and not working on that dream then that dream will always remain the dream it will not come into reality so always work on your dream you can dream to any extent but to make your dream into reality you always have to work on that dreams only then you can make into reality always work and don't give up at any point if you are getting stuck and if you are feeling now you are not able to continue with this don't give up just take small breaks think why you started think how you started think what you will be achieving once you complete this so always think focus yourself meditate yourself but do not give up after starting your journey but in between if you are having some other plans accordingly you can change the plans but whatever career goals or whatever plans you have made try to fulfill or try to complete those plans because we have only one life and in this we have to cover entire thing whatever is planned for us and whatever we have planned for us so celebrate your small wins even if you achieve small thing celebrate it if you are introvert person celebrate with yourself at least tell yourself you can do it i have achieved till here later on i am going to achieve more celebrate small wins try to do the projects which will excite you the most try to do simple programs try to create simple analogy start focusing on that analogy start creating simple games because when you start with games you will be having lot of things to implement so start focusing on that kind of things which will excite you and that makes your coding journey easy and also you will not be bored of coding because after coding when you see the result definitely you will be happy so keep going do not give up at any point